Excuse me, miss. Can a tired traveler get a cup of coffee? Sure thing. Have a seat. How about a refill? Must be tiring driving that shiny 18-wheeler out there. Thanks for the coffee. Safe travels. What? Keypad. Great. Hang on there, Tex. Uh, how about a slice of apple pie? I made it fresh this morning. Almost there. Mm -hmm. Here's your change. Oh, oh. Keep it. Check you again when I find out where we're going. Once upon a time, there were two orphans, a boy and a girl, left to fend off the world all on their own. Until I took them in. I'm Al. I run the Academy, a training ground for boys and girls of um, unique talents. So now they have me and each other, and it's cool. They're growing up fast, real fast. He's a prize-winning surfer, a poet, and an expert safe cracker. She knows fencing, etiquette, and explosives. They're masters of disguise, martial arts experts, and fluent in 20 languages. They're Delilah and Julius, and they're saving the world one crime at a time, baby. I was starting to wonder if you were gonna show up. Well, I had to bust my tables, cash out, change, punch out, oh, and travel 50 kilometers to get here. The last 10 on foot through brush. Oh. <laughs> Pass me those. The nitrogen tanks are out back. You can see the feeder tubes leading into the building. And you're not the only one having a hard time, Kay. I had to tuck and roll out of the back of a moving truck before staying crouched in wet grass for, like, three hours. You're right. I'll nominate you for a medal. Come on, let's get a closer look. Hey, I missed the mission briefing. What's the story? Eternal Life Cryonics Lab. They claim they can freeze the rich when they die and revive them in the future, or at least that's what the pamphlet says. Here, let me get that. So what's the problem? Rich people like spending a lot of money. Yeah, this lab is using more liquid nitrogen than you would need to turn a whole city into an ice cube for a thousand years. We could cut off the supply of nitrogen from right here. We should find out what's going on inside first, don't you think? <laughs> okay, what's bothering you, Dee? Delilah? Shh, Kimma. Who said anything's bothering me? Well, your snarky remarks, for one. And you left for the mission without even saying bye to me. I figured you were busy with other things. I was busy. I asked you to dinner and you said you were too busy. Well, you didn't try very hard. Oh. I didn't... I didn't know I was supposed to try hard. For a company that uses more nitrogen than they're supposed to, there sure is a lack of customers. Like, none. These files are all fake, too. <gasps> D! Delilah, why are you running away from me? Open this. You know, if 
If you didn't know you were supposed to try harder, then you're a bigger jerk than I thought you were. You think I'm a jerk? When did that happen? When did I become a jerk? Well, as soon as some girl goes goo goo eyes for you, you just run off. What? Goo goo eyes, girl? What are you talking about? Who's goo goo? Ugh, Zoe! Zoe, okay? Like, ever since she showed up, you're far away, Julius. Really, really far away. Almost gone. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. D, let me set a few things straight. I'd love you to, but not yet. Something's wrong here. There's a discrepancy with the building grid. <gasps> and someone's coming. volatile energy diffusing battery. The liquid nitrogen's keeping it stable. Good thing we didn't cut it off from outside. The whole valley could have gone kaboom. How close are they? It's okay. Whoever they were, they're gone. What say we go find them? Wait. I want you to set me straight first. Look, there's nothing between me and Zoe, okay? Nothing. She likes you. And I like you, Delilah. But I thought you changed your mind. What? I've always liked you, Delilah. That's all I do. Every minute of every day is like you. And like you, and like you, and like you more. <laughs> well, I like you too, Julius. So, uh, let's do something about it. Kiss me, jerk. Okay, Nosy, you head out after her, man. Great, I'll pack my overnight bag. Sorry, Emmett, my man. I'm gonna send Zoe along with the nose on this one. Hmm. What? Why am I always the last choice to go on missions? Is it because of Ursula? Because I am not Ursula. Don't sweat it, sugar. We still got a lot of lab work to do together. <laughs> but it's all noxious fumes. <laughs> <laughs> And then, this other time, Delilah wrestled 12 Komodo dragons to find the one that swallowed Julius whole. Then once they posed as wranglers and took down some snake assassins before the snakes got anywhere near the plane. On three, two, one, go! <laughs> Close one! Reminds me of the time Julius had to skateboard over a minefield to rescue Delilah from a rocket seconds before it was about to launch into space. You sure know a lot of Julius and Delilah stories. We usually say Delilah and Julius. Hmm. If we cut off the supply of liquid nitrogen here, we'll stop whatever badness is going on inside. <laughs> Wait. Cutting the nitrogen supply would also thaw anything that's frozen inside. Exactly. And what if there's something in there we don't want to thaw? Like a giant frozen burrito. <laughs> You're a doofus. Let's check it out first. So, do you have any stories of your own? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, Delilah and Julius get annoyed when I'm the third wheel on a mission. <gasps> There's a ventilation shaft. We have to get to it before the light comes back around. Ready? And go! When you say third wheel, Delilah and Julius aren't a couple or anything, are they? They don't know what they are, but they are. They're like a couple in waiting. Oh, now it all makes sense. <laughs> Sorry about the whole Julius thing, kiddo. Oh, it's okay. I just think he's cute. But who doesn't, right? <laughs> He's like a movie star, you know, nice to look at, but totally obsessed with taking his shirt off. There's an empty office. Let's check it out. I prefer the kind of guy who doesn't need to be center stage. 
The kind of guy who can just be himself. Like you. Yeah, those kinds of guys are pretty cool. <laughs> so, did you ever have a partner? Well, sometimes me and Emmett go on missions together. No, I meant more like Delilah and Julius. No. <laughs> I don't have a partner. I don't have a partner either. <laughs> trying to protect you. That should keep you warm for the next thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Something's wrong. Zoe and Nosy's trackers dropped out. Let's go, Scarlet. The family's in trouble. Can I come too? Sorry, Emmett, man. I don't want to risk endangering any more of you. But, you know, you're a senior agent in charge till we get back. Really? Well... What do I have to do? Not much, but if you want to go snorkeling, the flippers are at the bottom of the pool, man. <sighs> Four foes on ice, including Ice Candy Julius. Could this week get any better? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's a good idea to just waltz through the front doors, big guy? Relax, Scarletta. I didn't put on a suit for the fun of it, man. <laughs> or, uh, lady. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Aloysius and Scarlet. Feel like giving them the cold shoulder? Those are mine, sis. Where are your flamethrowers? In this place, sister. I put them on ice. <laughs> My children! This is not cool, man. We've got company. Get your weapon ready. I got them right here. My fists of steel. Freeze! Gladly. <sighs> they don't think they need me, but they don't ever give me a chance. That's it. I I'm calling Big Al. Hey, Al, listen. Call you back. You should have said a warmer goodbye. You won't be speaking for a long, long time. I'm surprised. Last time we stopped you, you were stealing Tokyo's power. Now you're in the New Age cryopreserving business? It's a little tacky, girl. But there's a solid return on our investment. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Al, listen. This is a bad time, Emmett. Say goodbye, old timers. <sighs> <laughs> Al? Hello? Something's wrong. These two are the icing on the cake! <laughs> 8 a.m. I'm outside the Eternal Life Cryonics Lab, which I've traced as Al's last location before his communicator dropped out. I'm recording my mission from here on in case anything goes wrong. Let this be a memoir. This is Emmett's life. I'm standing next to what appears to be giant vats of liquid nitrogen. Since I don't want to get frozen by accident, I will now disconnect the feeder tubes. Wish me luck, Emmett. Good luck, Emmett. An eye scanner? Oh, come on! Error. Five seconds remaining. Entrance granted. 
Note to Scarlet, thanks for these eye scanner overriders. They really do come in handy. She'll freeze you! Let me at him! How dare you call me old time? I said I'll call you back, man! An energy diffusing battery? Of the most volatile kind. And if the liquid nitrogen's not keeping it cool, it'll blow. And blow big. Why aren't there any alarms, man? You'd think there'd be alarms. The big guy and me will head outside and fix the nitrogen, children. We'll try neutralizing the battery, and we'll take the sisters. Note one, without prior investigation, an agent should never disconnect the liquid nitrogen. Okay, let's get you to safety. Going out? <gasps> or staying in? <laughs> your ice is mine, Julius. <laughs> in your dreams, Frosty. Oh, how did you know? Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Likewise, D. Ciao. It's been lukewarm. <laughs> According to Delilah's grid, it should be right here. Here? Uh, we're here. Sabotage. You know, this reminds me of the time when I was in Tanzania following a lead on a missing Egyptian artifact, and you it You know, it's not that I don't like your story, sugar, but could it wait till after we stop this place from blowing up? <laughs> Emergency averted. A bargain. <laughs> Guys, the battery's gone. We looked everywhere. <laughs> okay, something so that my hands don't freeze. Phew! I've contained the emergency situation. It was close, but I stayed cool and professional. Footnote 2. When handling highly explosive batteries, agent should use a premium quality belt. Uh-oh. Where is the battery? We don't have it! Even I wouldn't touch something that hot. You'd better start talking, girls, because you don't want Al to question you. That's right, man. Or, um, uh, ladies. Picked up my technique in a Romanian interrogation cell. Uh, well, hey, uh, this is not good, man. Red zone's no good, right? Right? Red zone? What happened? Something must have jammed when we reattached the tubes. We'd better release some of the pressure. <laughs> Want to put these two on ice? Good work, kiddos. I don't get it. We're still in the red. Either there's a jam inside the tank, or the gauge is faulty. I have an idea. It involves us not waiting around to find out which it is. We can't leave without the battery. If it blows, it could destroy everything within a 10-mile radius. That makes me feel a lot better about hanging around here. Oh, hey, guys. Emmett, what are you doing here? Well, it's a long story that you can listen to later. But in short, I found a very unstable battery thingy that I stopped from blowing up. You did? Sure. How you guys doing? Is this a party or something? Damn it, man. You saved the day. I did. You did. I did. The end. Good oh, made it go, man. kiddo. Where did you say you put the battery? I tried to dip the battery into the tank to cool it. 
I used my belt so I wouldn't freeze my hands, but I kind of dropped it in there. That's what's making the tank jam up, which means the gauge isn't faulty at all. Run, man! Run! Remember I saved the day! sisters are involved in something big, Scarlet. Something bigger than themselves. I can feel it. Stealing energy in Tokyo, now this battery? I think you're right. And they're not in it alone, man. So, remember when I said I had no stories of my own? Well, I think today counts. I'd say we had our own story. You and me. Thanks for letting me sit up here with you guys. You're awesome. We're a great trio, aren't we? Well, now that we have a moment alone, I, uh, I thought we could, uh, finish our conversation from earlier. Well, we're not completely alone. Oh, don't mind our passengers. They're cool. Oh, Julius. Oh, how sweet. You're making me melt. Blech. <laughs> they give me the chills. Yeah, um... I guess we'll find some other time. <laughs> <laughs>